Control Mechanisms in Islamic Banks in Malaysia and Bahrain Control mechanisms are policies and procedures that financial institutions establish to reduce risks and ensure they meet operating, reporting, and compliance objectives. These are usually in form of internal control programs which are designed to ensure organizations operate effectively, assets are safeguarded, reliable financial records are produced, and applicable laws and regulations are complied with. In addition to the conventional banks' control mechanisms, Islamic banks make use of Sharia governance frameworks enacted by their relevant jurisdictions, the Islamic International Rating Agency, IIRA, and the Islamic Financial Services Board, IFSB, and the Accounting and Auditing Organization for Islamic Financial Institutions, AAFI, which are the international bodies of monitoring the Islamic banking industry. Malaysia's regulatory framework can be regarded as one of the most advanced and comprehensive frameworks globally. Efforts are in place for Islamic banks to put greater emphasis on the aspects of transparency and disclosure, risk management and investment strategies, but less emphasis on capital requirements. On the hand, Bahrain is host to a number of organizations central to the development of Islamic finance with commitment to a complete regulatory infrastructure being evident in that various regulatory bodies have been set up to ensure a comprehensive regulatory environment. In Malaysia, legislation has been passed by a representative assembly while in Bahrain, regulations have been issued by a bank regulatory authority, the Central Bank of Bahrain, CBB. Both countries have separate independent regulatory frameworks, one for Islamic banks, and another for conventional banks, and enacted separate laws to operationalize Islamic banks. The central banks, Bank Negara Malaysia, BNM, and CBB, is the institution responsible for the supervision, licensing and authorization of Islamic banks. BNM has its own Sharia Board, Sharia Advisory Council, SAC, while the CBB has no Central Sharia Supervisory Board, SSB. The presence of SSB for Malaysia is not only established at the main regulatory level, BNM, but also at the institutional level. Bahrain, on the other hand, has Sharia boards that exist only at the institutional level. The CBB Rulebook Volume 2 provides a clear legal requirement for the establishment of the Sharia Board in IFIs in Bahrain in which failure to do that will constitute non-compliance with the CBB's directive. The establishment of the National Sharia Advisory Board of the CBB is different with the case of Malaysia as it does not have authority upon the other IFIs. Both countries have consumer safety programs for its IBI, with Malaysia having completely separated its deposit insurance scheme for Islamic banks from conventional counterparts. To help reduce risks and addresses the unique characteristics of Islamic banking transactions, Malaysia applies the risk-based supervisory framework while Bahrain utilize a different set of dedicated on-site supervision and off-site surveillance guidelines designed specifically for Islamic banks. In both jurisdictions, the regulatory capital adequacy requirements contain prescriptions that are often based on IFSB prudential standards and guiding principles on needed adjustments to the BCBS. Basel Committee on Banking Supervision, Capital Framework to cater for certain Islamic banking features. Moving on to accounting standards, Bahrain is the only country who has completely adopted AFI standards while Malaysia implement different accounting standards under International Financial Reporting Standards, IFRS. As for corporate governance frameworks, both countries have tailored structures that specifically address the issues in Islamic banks. The Sharia Governance Framework Policy document issued by BNM in 2019 for Islamic Financial Institutions IFIs, in Malaysia plays a critical in the institutionalization of governance structures, policies, and processes to promote end-to-end -end Sharia compliance in Islamic finance operations. The framework outlines the key responsibilities of the board and its interaction with Sharia Committee composition of the Sharia Committee together with guidelines on their appointment and disqualification, senior management roles and control functions under Sharia governance comprising of Sharia review, Sharia audit, and Sharia risk management. Bahrain follows the AFI governance standards where it requires all IFIs to establish Sharia supervisory board. Section January 3, 16 of the CBB rule book requires IFIs to adopt the standards as well as having a separate function of Sharia review for a purpose of ensuring Sharia compliance as stipulated in the standards number 3. 
To address this issue, the practice of the IFIs shows that the Sharia review or audit is carried out by the existing internal audit personnel. This legal requirement for the adoption of the standards reflects the role of Bahrain as the host of the AFI since its establishment in 2001. Regulation and guidelines exists for information disclosure in both jurisdictions, but effectiveness differs. Islamic banks in Malaysia are not permitted to publish its financial statements until and unless the Sharia board has signed off on the Sharia compliance of the financial statements. The regulatory frameworks for capital requirement, corporate governance, risk management, and financial reporting that exist considerably comply with international standards. A significant development in regulation of Islamic banks is, however, in its tendency towards principle-based guidelines that empower greater responsibilities at the operational level, which is what Islamic banks need.